the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, I welcome you all for this Sunday Mass. Today we celebrate the Corpus Christi, Feast of the Most Holy Body and Blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus wanted to be with us always, and His real presence is with us always, and particularly here in this Eucharist. As we are believing in the Eucharist, as we are partaking in the Eucharist, let us ask God's presence, particularly Jesus' presence, among our lives. To offer this Mass in a worthy manner, let us call to our minds all of our sins and ask God's power. This Mass is offered for Larry Wink by Dolores Wing and family. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy.
Our reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Remember how for forty years now the Lord your God has directed all your journey in the desert, so as to test you by affliction and find out whether or not it was your intention to keep the prison in. He therefore let me be afflicted with and then fed you with man. A food I know to you and your fathers, in order to show you that not by bread alone does one live, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of the Lord. Do not forget the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that place of slavery, who guided you through the vast and terrible desert, with its serpents and serpents and scorpions. Its parched and waters round, who brought me forth the water for you from empty God, and fed you in the desert with man, a food unknown to your fathers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
with John. Jesus said to the Jewish crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreling among themselves say, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood reminds in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that comes down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who yet and still die, whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in our Lord Jesus Christ, Today we celebrate the solemnity of the Most Holy Body and Blood of Christ. Moses used to remind the people of Israel all the goodness, all the presence of God in their history. Every time he used to tell the Israelites how God saved them from their slavery, how God led them in the desert, how God gave bread from heaven and water from a stone. And whenever Moses reminded the people about God's presence and God's protection, people used to thank through Moses, through their offerings to God. And today Jesus also is telling us that he will be with us as a real presence. Often there is a mistake that we consider sometimes Eucharist as a remembrance or the Mass as a remembrance. Remembrance of what Jesus did in those days. Before his death he took bread and gave to the disciples and said, This is my body. He took the cup and gave to the disciples and said, This is my blood. And some they consider, even today, when we take part in the body and blood of Jesus, it is just remembrance. No. The solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Christ today is telling us. It is not just a remembrance of Jesus, what he did before his death. Eucharist is a real presence where Jesus is with us. When the Eucharistic celebration is going on, Jesus is with us. And his real presence is in the Eucharist. So the feast reminds us it is not just the remembrance of Jesus, what he did. It is real presence. In reality, Jesus is with us when we partake in the Eucharist. Today, as we are longing to be in communion with God, in communion with Jesus, particularly through Eucharist, this gives us a satisfaction, this gives us a great courage that Jesus is always with us. In the Gospel today, Jesus is telling 
why he gives his body and blood to the people he has two reasons the first reason is like i and father are united i want all the people to be united with me that is the first reason i give my body and blood to you jesus says in the gospel of john the second reason what he says is first is the real presence one in the other the second reason is the benefit of being with jesus so he says whenever you are taking part in eating my body and drinking my blood you will have the eternal life so the benefit is to have life in fullness jesus also continues telling i get my life from father because i am with the father and i share everything from him so also jesus says i want the same with you so he tells us whenever we are taking part in the eucharist we are in him and with him at the same time we are assured by jesus that he will give life in fullness so as we are taking part in this eucharistic celebration let us ask jesus to be with us in reality and to give us the life eternal the life in fullness we also pray for the whole world where it needs god's presence and god's inter intervene as we are offering this mass let us pray for all the people who are not able to partake in this eucharistic celebration may they be always enriched by jesus by his real presence let us profess our faith i believe in one god the father almighty maker of heaven and earth of all things visible and invisible i believe in one lord jesus christ the only begotten son of god born of the father before all ages god from god light from light true god from true god begotten not made consubstantial with the father through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the holy spirit was incarnate of the virgin mary and became man for our sake he was crucified under pontius pilate he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the father he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end i believe in the holy spirit the lord the giver of life who proceeds from the father and the son who with the father and the son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets i believe in one holy catholic and apostolic church i confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and i look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come amen let us pray in faith for one another and for the whole world's needs
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who live lives of loneliness and despair find comfort in the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God who is especially for those who have a child, be strengthened and nourished by the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That his followers of Jesus become more like him the of the Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the of you, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us add our own personal intentions. Loving Father, you give us lasting food for body and soul. Answer our prayers as we celebrate this Eucharistic feast. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 
and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the raising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of His wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with the Saint Joseph, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis of Pope and William our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for a
Savior's command and found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom and the power and the glory of us, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said you are apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am unworthy that you should be entered under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of God Christ be the Son of Christ. Let us invite Jesus into our hearts. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart, and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen.
Seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. 